Hello and welcome to this video. Here I want to give you some advice if you are about to uh, decide to learn the Indian Mansuri, which type of flute to choose. So this is not to be meant that you pick up some of the lines I will play. I will just um, demonstrate the different sound and the range qualities and the easy and the difficult parts of each of those flutes. The standard flute for Hindustani classical is the E, which is a quite big flute. And most beginners, they might have a little bit of difficult time to have the to, to do the fingering to close all of the holes so therefore a lot of beginners they do not start with the E uh, they choose smaller flutes and there is a C flute and an A flute to be considered so first of all I want to just show you a little bit uh, the sound of uh, them compared to each other so the E flute <laughs> The A flute, that means that the root note here for Hindustani system, this is an A, and the other one it was an E. As a totally beginner, you will have no chance to get the higher octave. But I just want to demonstrate to you that this might be within the reach. So within a certain time, you might get there. Sound-wise, I think it's quite enjoyable. You have a little bit the bass character. That's the lowest note. When you and you can use the seventh hole quite easily. So seventh hole is usable. And, and the higher octave is not too difficult to get it. And the very highest, and I call this the extended range. Not too difficult in this one, still it needs time. Also doable on the big one. But on the smaller ones, uh, let's compare this first. On the smaller ones, the high octave gets really tricky and I cannot do them very well on this one. So, but here on the standard E for Hindustani, you have the seventh hole, by the way, you have on this side, so you can play this with the knee. And this you can, on the smaller flute, you can do with the finger here. And the higher octave on this one. No. That's a normal range and the extended. This is the part, this is standard to go up here, but then. And as you can hear spontaneously, when I do it spontaneously like that, the highest octave does not sound very nice. That's, uh, I think, the reason why most professional players, they do not use it too much. But if you practice it really well, I think it's um, totally possible. So let's see. Maybe in one year I can do some videos with the upper octave really sounding very nice. Um, I think it's doable and it's worth to go for it. So then you have a range of two and a half octaves on the Bonsuri. Also the smaller ones, same thing. But on the even smaller one, the C, now this has the advantage that the holes are even the holes are even closer together, but they are also not too wide on the A flute. But here they're even closer. That's a little bit more comfortable. Also the seventh hole, of course, is very easy to be played. But even the, the middle octave gets a little bit challenging for the blowing. Though it's a good exercise for the embouchure.
So this is the standard range. But then if you want to extend the range, it's getting really difficult on the C flutes. So on this, I'm not there yet to do the extended range on the C flute. Of course, it will also be possible, just a matter of practicing the embouchure better, getting better chops and more precision on the blowing. But on the A flute, it's much more within the range. And I personally think that the sound of the A flute is also a little bit more enjoyable. So, of course, it's your choice. I mean, if you play some order, it might be a good idea to get a C and an A together. Uh, when you order some flutes from India, uh, the package to get it sent will be just equal one flute. So if you get two flutes together, that might be uh, economically also a little bit more reasonable. Um, e, if you want to go for Hindustani music and you hear all the great players like Hari Prasad Chaurasia and Rubak Kulkarni and Rakesh Chaurasia and Rono Manjumdar and all of them, they are all playing E for that. This is the standard in the Hindustani because of the balance of the, 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 the low and the high frequencies. It's, um, it's quite an ideal one. And also, if you want to play some jazz uh, or Western music, um, the E is always a good good deal. Yes, so that's my short advice um, to help you deciding uh, if you want to learn the Indian Bansuri, which one of the three or in which range uh, to choose. Um, those are also commonly used, C, A and E, uh, everything else in between. You have all 12 root notes. Um, is a little bit more uncommon to use, so you won't find that much material, learning material. So on these three, I would choose one of those, C, A, R, E. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. See you around and all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.